Hi Aquarius, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So let's jump straight into it. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Aquarians and their person regarding love this month. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the month ahead. All right. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am so, so grateful to each and every one of you. All right. Your overall energy for this month is the Queen of Cups. All right. hearing some of you Aquarians are cusps so you are born almost the borderline of the Pisces season all right sorry okay chaotic energy is quite chaotic all right okay we'll take that we'll take the one that flipped wow you have two nights oh my gosh Okay, sorry, I was reading your spread. Your challenge for this month, Aquarius, is the lover's card. So I do feel that you are dealing with someone with the, your per, you and your person are have really, really deep soul connections, really deep soul ties. Um, this can be a twin flame, a soulmate, a karmic, take it how it resonates, all right? Let's see, all right, okay. You've been waiting for your ships to sail in. All right. So that is, um, I feel that there is a decision that you have to make regarding this relationship. All right. Because the lover's card is about a decision, not just about um, twin flame soulmate connections. All right. So you have the queen of cups as your overall energy for this month. So I do feel that you are really loving yourself all right you're really pouring all that love into yourself why you realize that you cannot pour from an empty cup so you cannot give love if you don't have love for yourself so realize that you have to love yourself first before you pour any amount or form of love to other people all right okay so i feel that the knight of cups here you, i mean the knight of wands here i feel that one of you in the connection all right i'm gonna say it as it is one of you in the connection is some sort of a player kind of a non enough kind of person on and off energy i'm feeling that this person comes in when in love bombs you when the relationship is really good and just you know starts to leave when shit hits the fan i do feel that this person here your person right now is realizing that they should renew their passions with you very passionate i feel that things are being new right now renewed right now all right there's a lot of sex i'm seeing there's a lot of sex and sensuality here um <laughs> All right, so I'm seeing, yeah, a lot of a lot of sensuality in th this month. 
a lot of physical attraction. Anyway, I'm feeling that your person here wants to renew, give a renewed form of passion, all right? This person has hurt you, has hurt you in the past really deeply. Um, I'm seeing you trying to pick the pieces up, trying to, you know, trying to heal from this, but you are still really hurt. This is someone you are most likely married to. Most likely married to, most likely have children with, take it how it resonates, or you're planning to have children with, planning to marry and be, you know, committed to stay, committed to, um, having a very stable and financial, uh, financial and emotional stability with. This is someone you saw, or this is someone you're really married to as of the moment, because the Ten of Pentacles is about family, all right, stable family. Okay, this is someone that really hurt you. I do feel that there is, you know, fate is gonna step in, the universe is gonna step in. I do feel that there is a renewal of commitment. I'm hearing renewal of vows. My gosh. Um, there is renewal of vows. Your person is going to offer. Yeah. Your person is going to offer a renewed cup of love with you. Your person loves you so much. I think he realizes that something happened in the last five months five weeks that really opened his eyes made really realize that you are the one for him all right so he's offering that cup of love to you it's nice it's actually really nice ah sorry let's see what is the overall outcome of this spread I'm hearing it's kind of chaotic in the last five months. Chaotic, All right? So the overall outcome of your situation is the Three of Cups, the King of Swords, and then the Ten of Wands. I do feel that the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, I mean. The Ten of Wands here, it just means that you are going to let go eventually of all the baggage and wounding, all right? Um, I'm feeling that it's it's really heavy. I'm feeling it really heavily. It's really heavy. All right, you're gonna let go of that. I'm gonna. I'm seeing you letting go of that. Um, you have the King of Swords here. You're going to plan. You're going to plan how to move forward. How to move forward strategically. All right. And then you have the Three of Cups. You're gonna need. A lot of help from your community your tribe your soul tribe you're gonna need a lot of help and support and I do feel that there is a lot of support coming in your way all right okay so yeah what is the advice of spirit advice of spirit please advice of spirit all right see I told you. The advice of spirit is the two of pentacles, the four of swords, and then the death and rebirth. So let go. The advice of spirit for death is let go of things that no longer serve you. Stop being stuck on things that no longer serve you. Stop trying to fit the things that no longer fit you. All right? Things that no longer fit your life, things you have outgrown. All right? You have the four of swords here. It just means that you need to you really need time to heal you really need time to heal um whether or not this is with or with without your person you need to heal because if you don't address that it's gonna come out eventually in a very very weird and big kind of you know blow and it's gonna hurt a lot of people all right you need to address that. And then you have the two of pentacles. There is a decision that has to be made. You have to weigh up your options. Um, 
you have to what I'm hearing is you have to choose yourself very clearly you have to choose yourself Aquarius all right so let's see let's cap off your reading with some oracle cards Okay, we'll get to. All right. So you have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. All right. Yeah. I think you need a little bit of time for yourself with the Four of Swords because, well, I'm hearing this really hurt you. Sorry there okay let's see what aspect of love do you need to focus on okay we'll get those all right you have three you have kindness why isn't it uh all right you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others and then you have unity you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe and then pass through the power of love you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your your heart space all right beautiful that's very beautiful actually all right let's see wisdom of the oracle Let's get that. You have observer number forty nine. Number forty nine, four plus nine is twelve. All right. Observer. Let's see. Observer. See the meaning of this. Observer. Relationship message. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. F feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take time. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observed in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. All right. It's actually a really, really good message. Um, I hope something in the reading resonated, Aquarius. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Leave, leave a comment down below if um, how it resonated for you, and I hope you subscribe to my channel i would love that you would subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for listening i love you all stay blessed